Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 30 at chapter 6. In this one, we, determine, we need to determine the period uh, for the circular near Earth's space shuttle, right? So let's look at this picture. It, we know this is Earth, and then this space shuttle moves along this uh, circle, do the circle motion. So first one, we can know the radius for this circle motion must include two parts. First one is the radius for the Earth and also the distance above the surface of the Earth. So this two part. The next one, because we want to find the period, the period is very um, close connected to the velocity. So in this one, we can see how can we find the velocity. We can consider the central force for this circle motion is for the gravitational force, right? So gravitational force is G, capital M, small m, divided by R squared, that must equal to mass times the cir circular acceleration, V squared, divided by R. In this one, we can solve this equation to find the velocity V, and it is in the term squared GM divided by R. In this one, this velocity is uh, we can find. But also, remember, we need to find the period. So we must connect the period with the velocity. So in this one, we can see for one complete circle, this distance it covered is just 2 pi r, then divided by the time taking for one circle, right? So 2 pi r divided by t is velocity. So now you can see these two equations, both about the velocity. So we add them, we just combine them together. We get this equation. And then we can find this t just equal to 2 pi r squared as r cubed gm. In this one, by then, there is a, a hint. It tells you, you may take the acceleration due to gravity as necessary, as essentially the same as that on the surface. What does that mean? Because we, this is asking you to do the circular near Earth uh, motion. So that means near Earth, this edge is very small, right? And it is small, small, super small, tends to zero. So there we can consider the edge is a very small, tends to zero. So it moves just along the surface. So this this R radius becomes the radius of the Earth. This is the one way we take the limit. And then after that, we can input the known quantities. We find the answer at zero. So we can see for these uh, equations, uh, this period is never decided by this uh, uh, shuttle space is only dependent on the mass of the Earth, mass of the radius, and the constant g. Thank you.